area of a triangle when its vertices are given. Student, you did this formula in class 10th that if there is a triangle, I'm just proving that the triangle is suppose here A, B, C whose vertices are x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 and then you have to find out the area of this triangle. So you can do that first of all we will draw perpendicular from B to the x axis from A to the x axis and from C we will draw perpendicular to the x axis. Suppose this is B, M, A, N and C, R. These are the perpendiculars. So student to get the area of the triangle if you find out the area of trapezium plus area of this trapezium and if you subtract area of this trapezium then you will get the area of the triangle. So student according to the figure we can suppose here the coordinate of A as x1 y1 the coordinate of B as x2 y2 and the coordinate of C as x3 y3 and according to the figure B M A N and C R are perpendicular to the x axis. So from this figure you can see O M is equal to x2 O N is equal to x1 and O R is equal to x3. B M is equal to y2 A N is equal to y1 and C R is equal to y3. So therefore the M N will be x1 minus x2 n r is equal to x3 minus x1 and m r is equal to x3 minus x2. So according to the figure area of triangle a b c is equal to the area of the trapezium a b m n plus area of the trapezium a n r c minus area of the trapezium B C R M and from the figure area of A B M N is from here A B M N for this this is and this one these two are two parallel sides and the distance between these two parallel sides is M N so area of A B M N is half into sum of parallel sides that is y2 plus y1 into the distance between those two that is x1 minus x2 plus half into now area of a n r c for this one these two are parallel sides y1 and y3 so it will be half into y1 plus y3 into the distance between those two is x3 minus x1 minus half into area of B C R M. So here two parallel sides are Y2 and Y3. So Y2 plus Y3 into X3 minus X2. Now student from here we can take half common and then we will open all of these brackets. So you can write X1 into Y2 plus Y1 minus X2 into Y2 plus Y1 plus x3 into y1 plus y3 minus x1 into y1 plus y3 minus x3 into y2 plus y3 plus x2 into y2 plus y3. After simplification student finally you will get half x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 and hence this is the area of the triangle but student to derive the formula I am taking here all the coordinate of three points three vertices as positive but it may be negative maybe all of these three are negative maybe some are positive some are negative maybe sometime x is positive y negative y positive x negative so we can't say that this result will be positive or negative 
but the area of the triangle is always positive so a student we will write this formula as this way that area of triangle abc is equal to half into instead of bracket we will put here mod half into mod of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 and then mod completed so this will be the area of the triangle abc when three vertices are given now student you may face to remember this formula so i'm writing here in another way area of triangle abc is equal to half into determinant of x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 that means we will write all the three vertices and then we'll put 1 1 1 and then determinant complete and then we'll put one more mod because of the area can't be negative so we will put here the mod sign this is mod sign so this is the area of the triangle a b c in another form it is written the formula is same this after the expansion we will get the same result now i am writing it in third form area of triangle a b c is equal to half into mod and then determinant of x1 y1 x2 y2 plus x2 y2 x3 y3 plus determinant of x3 y3 and x1 y1 and then again we will put the mod so this is the area of the triangle abc half into mod this is the mod and inside the mod we'll put determinant of x1 y1 x2 y2 plus x2 y2 x3 y3 plus determinant of x3 y3 and x1 y1 means we will start from the first coordinate and we will end with the first coordinate so student you can remember by using this way now i am writing the formula which is derived from the triangle so now area of a quadrilateral when its four vertices are x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and x4 y4 so student in this situation we can prove by dividing the whole quadrilateral into two triangles i'm just giving you a rough idea how to prove i'm not proving it you can prove yourself see from here again similar as the triangle formula we will draw the perpendicular from a from d from c and from b so if we suppose this is a m this is d n this is c r this is b q all of these are the perpendiculars and the coordinates are x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and x4 y4 now again we will do the same thing that area of this quadrilateral a b c d is equal to area of this trapezium plus area of this trapezium plus area of this one and then minus area of this lower trapezium and hence again we will do that way and we'll get the result as i'm writing here directly the result area of quadrilateral a b c d is equal to half into mod of determinant x1 y1 x2 y2 plus determinant of x2 y2 x3 y3 plus determinant of x3 y3 x4 y4 plus determinant of x4 y4 and x1 y1 hence this is the area of the quadrilateral abcd so from here area of a polygon having n sides so n vertices from x1 y1 to xn y1 this area equal to half into mod then determinant of x1 y1 x2 y2 plus determinant of x2 y2 x3 y3 and so on it will move up to determinant of 
xn yn and x1 y1 and hence the mod completed so this is the area of a polygon having n sides so n vertices also